They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. Want. And to your point earlier about you know podcasts don't need you don't need to spend thousands of dollars. That's hundred percent true. My first podcast setup was a hundred dollar thing on Amazon. It gave me a little mixer, one channel, like a stick mic, XLR yeah. cords, and recording software by use audition. Right, a hundred bucks. And then over the years, um, I upgrade like this mic right here, the RE twenty, whatever it is. You know, I got this after five years of doing podcasting. The Rodecaster, five and a half years of doing podcasting because it's you know I'm in it now. <laughs> I'm balls yeah. deep. I'm not going nowhere. This is- this is my favorite mic, though. My that one, okay, let me, let me, let me show, show up again. Let me see Neumann it. TLM. It's so tiny. It's, it's just yeah, my baby. Neumann TLM. Yeah, this is Howard. Howard Stern's mic. Same mic. All right. What's what's the mic you got there? That's that's I call it the Rogan mic. Uh, it's the SM7B, the Shure SM7B. It's okay. Uh, I the, the reason why I got it is that Rich is very soft spoken. Yes. And I'm very loud. You are. So I would have to pot his mic up like tremendously mm. because these are, these are dynamic mics. They're quiet and they're, but I would be so loud where, and he, I had to pot him up so much that like we had bleed over happening. Mm-hmm. So my mic, you know, it was just constantly bleeding it and this would pick a lot up in the room. So this is great when I'm by myself in here. Cause this room is pretty dead. Uh, and I have soundproof doors yep. in here. So like I can't hear like it, it's an exterior soundproof door. So I can't hear outside of here, but it would just pick up everything that was going on. So I, I swapped it out for this one. Awesome. Yeah, like this this mic I got right here. This is one I used at a college radio station. It's a fantastic mic. I love that mic. WRHU, Hofstra University. Shout out to them. Um, You know, that's where I learned radio. And that's where I found love with radio. Uh, I listened to podcasts well before that, but that's why I started a podcast. Um, So how did you get into tech? Because like you're a a marketing nerd, you're a tech nerd, you're a business nerd. How did you get down to the the nitty and gritty of podcast technology? So... Uh, I always loved technology. Uh, as a kid, I was really into it. My, my best thing, my, my, my family ever did. My parents, uh, they put a computer in my room when I was five years old and they said, learn this. I had a Tandy 2500 XL. They bought from Radio Shack. They paid $3,000 for this thing. Oh my God. Okay. This is 1989. They, they, they bought this computer and they don't know that like, what the hell did they know? They did. They never use a computer and they put this in. Uh, and they're like, okay, figure it out. And I would go on there and I would figure it out. And I remember like six years old, I was logging in and my father would make him print out articles on the Gulf war in on a, on my dot matrix printer. And I was, I was a kid, I was six years old. And I would like, I would find the articles and I would like print out stuff for him at six. So like it always, I was so, I was so into technology. Like I, I've always been like a big geek. I was into gaming. I was like, uh, I still am. And, uh, I just, it was just a passion of mine and the technology passion led me to everything is connected. This is, this is one piece of advice I'll give everybody. Everything you do in life is connected in some way. Mm -hmm. I'm not a religious person, but I sometimes believe that, you know, everything is for a reason, right? Mostly sometimes bad stuff happens and it happens for no reason. But a lot of the things that you do yesterday will, will play a part in life later on. Um, I just got really into tech. And then the Attitude Era was happening. I got into wrestling from there because of the technology stuff because I found uh, Wrestling Observer on a website in 1999-2000 called IATA. And IATA ended up, uh, the morning guy was Chauncey Hayden from the Howard Stern Show. He was a morning guy. And the afternoon guy was Dave Meltzer. And long story short, my wife is the godmother to Chauncey's kid. So that's like a weird connection there with IATA and then, and then Meltzer. So everything was connected to technology. And then I really enjoyed tech TV when that, when that came out, I was really into tech TV and Leo Laporte, obviously with Twit network. Uh, when I was laid off and I was doing a podcast, I was looking for like top podcasts and I found Leo and the Twit network. So like that got me even more into technology again. Mm-hmm. And then that just led me into wrestling. 